Hi everyone, uh, Patek here. So the month of January is over and before I talk about uh, all the books that I finished in the month of January, first let's talk about all the books that I acquired uh, last month. And well, I acquired a total of 11 novels plus a plenty of manga volumes of one series. Because January was the month of my birthday, I went a bit crazy on my book buying. Well, not too much. But you won't see all of them in today's book haul video because uh, many of them are still in my friend's place uh, in the US. If you have seen my previous book haul video, you will know who I'm talking about. It is Arliss, one of my patrons, and at the moment, uh, due to some circumstance, she cannot send the books to me yet. But hopefully, once things settle down, I can receive my books. But still, I am super thankful to Arles and I cannot wait to show you all the books that I got. But first, let's talk about all the books that I already have uh, in the month of January. And let's start from the books that I bought first. Because as I said, it was my birthday and I finally bought a copy of Silmarillion. Yes, Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien, edited by Christopher Tolkien. This is this edition. I have always wanted this edition for quite a while now. This is the illustrated edition of Silmarillion uh, with the cover art and also interior artworks by Tad Nesmith. And take a look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is the spine. This is the back cover. Well, if you if you are a fan of J.R.R. Tolkien and also the Middle Earth universe, I think uh, you will you will know already about this uh, edition. I don't know whether to call this a special edition or not, but you know what? I think it should count as a special edition because it contains fifty fully colored interior artworks and also maps on the end paper. It is a gorgeous edition, and with this acquisition, it means that I now own every necessary book in the Middle Earth universe for me to do a second read. I am looking forward to that even though I had plenty of difficulty reading The Silmarillion for the first time. I feel like this is the kind of book that I think it will work so much better on second read rather than on your first time reading. And you know what? Even though it has been years since I first read The Silmarillion, somehow the story and the world building that was put inside the pages of the Silmarillion, they sometimes appeared in my mind. Like for example, The Children of Hurin. I think that book is one of my favorite books of all time and I think it is the best book by J.R.R. Tolkien. But you know what? I am rambling. Suffice to say that I am happy with this purchase. And other than this, well, the rest of the books that I got, they are all manga of one series. And that manga series is related to this uh, t-shirt. And yeah, you can probably guess this is My Hero Academia. So I went a bit crazy because I bought volume 21 until volume 36 of My Hero Academia by Kohei Horikoshi. This is the first time I finally have the physical copies of My Hero Academia manga. But this is one of my favorite manga series. And for whatever reason, during the time of my birthday, every one of this were insanely discounted. I think I got each volume for about two up to four dollars at most. So yeah, I decided to buy all of them and that means I only have to acquire volume one until 20 and then I will have the entire collection of My Hero Academia for my next reread. And I think it is the right time because the manga series is finally I think it is finally coming to an end really soon. So that's 16 volumes of manga and I look forward to getting uh, the first 20 volumes of My Hero Academia. So that's for all the books and manga that I bought uh, by myself. For the remaining uh, 10 novels, they are all gifted to me. And before I talk about uh, the 8 special editions that I got this month, yeah, I guess this is a month of quality over quantity. But before that, let's talk about the two review copies that I got first. The first one, you might have seen this already in my uh, favorite TBR video. It is In the Shadow of Their Dying by Michael Fletcher and also Anna Spitzbach. This is their first collaboration, as far as I know. And this is a grim dark fantasy focusing on a siege and it is a novella. The cover art is done by Carlos Diaz. Now, I'm a fan of Michael Fletcher's grim dark fantasy series, but I haven't finished reading anything by Anna Smith Spark yet. Uh, the last time I tried The Court of Broken Knives, I really could not uh, click with the writing and I hope it will work better with the collaboration with Michael Fletcher in this novella, which I think is about 200 pages long. And I want to say thank you so much to Grim Dark Magazine for sending me this uh, limited advanced reading copy. I think I got number 99. Yeah, this is only, there's only about 100 here. And yeah, yeah, I got number 99. Here. And other than In the Shadow of Their Dying, I also got uh, the City of Marble and Blood by Howard Andrew Jones. This is the second book in the Chronicles of Hanuvar and this is published by Ben Books. I haven't started 
uh, reading this series yet. I haven't read anything anything by Howard Andrew Jones yet. But I heard that this series is a great example of sword and sorcery done right. And honestly, I still have difficulties in trying to differentiate a sword and sorcery between just standard fantasy or epic fantasy. But as long as the Chronicles of Hanuvar is a great series of books, then I look forward to reading this series uh, for the first time. And I know this is unrelated to the quality of the story, but you know what? Uh, this is super... Uh, floppy and I love books like this. I find that floppy books like this tend to enhance my reading experience of the physical copies. Also, this review copy just came. Uh, this was sent to me by Angry Robot. The title of the book is Gok Magok. It is written by Jeff Noon and Steve Beard. And yeah, I've been waiting for this one for quite a while now. And at the back here, we can see this is a story about a journey through the 60 mile long ghost of a dragon. And here, it is written, this is Peak um, Fantasy. I assume this is Mervyn Peak, the writer behind Gorman Gus, and also Secret Mythologies, Take Me to the River, and Another London. I don't know what the book is about other than that, and I look forward to reading this. I've been looking forward to this one ever since I saw the cover reveal with the cover art done by Ian McQuay. And thank you so much to Angry Robot for sending me a copy of this one. The next three books I'm going to showcase, they are all special editions and they are all published through Kickstarter campaigns. And for the first one I'm going to show, it is finally, I finally have a copy of Mother of Learning Arc 2 by Nobody 103 or Domagoy uh, Kurmach. Yeah, this is uh, Mother of Learning series, one of the standout series of last year uh, for me. And just like the first hardcover edition uh, published by Raidmark, this cover art is done by Mansik Yang and also it comes with this beautiful end paper by Hold on. Tada! Asuru Bisoa. And at the back, we have another one. By Daniel Kamarudin. Yeah, I think this one is gorgeous. Daniel Kamarudin is one of my favorite artists. And yeah, I'm happy to finally have this beautiful hardcover edition of Mother of Learning. And I'm waiting for the hardcover edition of Arc 3 and Arc 4 as well. And I don't know when I will do a second read of this one, but I know that will happen someday. The quality of this hardcover edition, just like the first book, is great. It has a thicker paper, thicker premium paper, and also every chapter open with this beautiful title page. Thank you so much to Raidmark for sending me a copy of Mother of Learning Arc 2. I'm really glad that I finally have a copy of the hardcover edition of this one. And moving on to the next one, I also have the blessing and also privilege to own an early copies of Child of the Night Guild by Andy Paliquin. This is uh, just like the next one after this one. It's funded through Kickstarter campaign and it is handled by AC Cobble or Matic Books, as some of you might know already. Yeah, it is one of the many Kickstarter campaigns that I showcased on my YouTube channel last year, and now I finally have a copy. Uh, it is beautiful. The cover art is done by Anti Hakosari. This is the spine. This is the back cover, and it has golden gilded edges. On top of this, of course, the book comes with an acid-free paper, and also it is Spitsun binding. And this is the front end paper, and this is the naked hardcover. Ta-da! You can see this, right? Yeah, it is beautiful. So golden and inside it contains uh, plenty of interior artworks by Felix Ortiz and more. And this is the back cover of the Naked Hot Covers. Yeah, this is the spine. Again, this is the front page. And now let's take a look at the back and paper. Ta-da! And inside we have plenty of black and white artworks. I'm going to show uh, one fully colored artworks by Felix Ortiz first. Uh, this is the fully colored, the only fully colored art inside the book, and then an example of the black and white artwork, and there are many of them, I'm not going to show all of them uh, inside this video. This is the first black and white interior illustration, and yeah, every chapter opens with this beautiful uh, chapter headings. And yeah, I finally have a copy of Child of the Night Guild, and I haven't read anything by Andy Paliquin yet. I still don't know whether I will start from reading uh, Dark Blade Assassin, or from this one. I guess I'll find out whenever my reading boat strikes. And finally, the last Kickstarter campaign books I got last month. It is the Threadlight Trilogy Omnibus Edition. And yeah, this is The Sleepcase by Zach Argal, also handled by AC Cobble or Medic Books. And it is amazing. Although this is gifted to me uh, for free, but I have to say that all of this, hold on, let me open this first. This is The Sleepcase. And also, this is the hardcover edition. Oh, sorry, this is the back cover, the spine, the top, and then the spray edges, 
and finally the front cover. And this Omnibus Deluxe Edition, it comes with pretty much everything that you want from a special edition. Unless, of course, you are expecting letterpress printing. This one doesn't come with that. But if we're talking about Smithsoon binding, acid-free paper, fully colored interior illustrations, this one definitely contains everything. Plus, they are all so beautiful. Uh, this is the front and paper. This is uh, illustrated by Randy Vargas, one of the best artists in the fantasy and sci-fi genre. And other than this front and paper by Randy Vargas, the book, contains nine more fully colored illustrations by Andrew Maleski, Omer Burak Onal, and then Huang Lap and Rashad Ala Kroka. It is beautiful and then it comes with this beautiful chapter heading for each book in the trilogy. So this is for Voice of War and then for Stone of Light and finally Bonds of Chaos. They contain a new and distinct uh, chapter header by John Belda. I'm going to show uh, the one for Stone of Light here. But this is uh, the interior artworks by Andrew Maleski. So beautiful. I'm looking forward to reading this book uh, in February. And then let's see uh, the chapter header for Stone of Light. Oh, I spotted another interior artworks and this is by Huang Lap. Ta-da! And let's see whether I can finally spot the chapter header <laughs> for Stone of Light. Oh, I got it! This is the chapter header for Stones of Light and Bonds of Chaos will feature another different one. And at the back, we have this beautiful map by John Belda, the same artist who did uh, the chapter headers for the Threadlight Trilogy of the Bus Deluxe Edition by Zach Argal. So this edition is absolutely gorgeous and I really hope many of you do get this edition. I still haven't read the books, but as far as production quality and production value, I think this is incredible. Plus, you can actually get uh, this one plus the slipcase in I think $86, not counting the shipping fee yet, but believe me, that is such a bargain. To get everything contained in this book, in this deluxe edition, plus the slipcase with $86 is almost miraculous. I mean, if we're talking about slipcase only from Grim Oak Press, the slipcase only costs about $50 already, just the slipcase. And I'm not trying to demean a Grim Oak Press here, this is just the fact. And there are plenty of other companies charging about the same price just to buy the slipcase, not counting the book yet. So yeah, well done to Zach Argal and also AC Cobble, and I cannot thank Zach Argal enough for sending me a copy of this one, and I I look forward to reading this very soon. And speaking of trilogy, the next trilogy of special editions that I got, this is gifted to me by a patron of mine, Sophie, and I want to say thank you so much to you, uh, Sophie, for getting me a copy of the Iron Edition of Red Rising Trilogy, the first Red Rising Trilogy by Pierce Brown. And uh, this is uh, published by Fairy Loot in collaboration with Hard Escape. This is The Spine, and I'm going to show the cover art later, but this is also the spray edges. And this is the top spray edges. As you can see, they are all connecting to one another. And the cover art is done by Mikaela Alkaino. This is the cover to Red Rising. And at the back, you can see uh, the quote, the measure of a man is what he does when he has power. And also the front end paper, it contains an artwork of Darrow by Avendel. And at the back, we have an artwork of Cassius. Cassius Au Bellona. And yeah, I think it is overall a beautiful edition. It's unfortunate that Fairy Loot Edition doesn't come with acid free paper or also Smithsoon binding. But as far as aesthetic goes, it is a beautiful one. This is the naked hot covers. This is the spine. And finally, the back hot covers. And now I'm going to show you uh, for Golden Sun. Same artist, the cover art is done by Mikhail Alkaino. And at the back, home isn't where you're from, it's where you find light when it all grows dark. This is the spine, and also we have Mustang or Virginia Augustus, and at the back and paper, we have our beloved Ragnar Volarus. And just like Red Rising, the naked hot covers features the front and paper. Tada! This is a uh, Virginia. Again, pretty edition, and finally for Morningstar, we have. Ta-da! This is the helm of Ares, and this is the spine, and at the back we have this coat. Forget the man's name and he'll forgive you, remember it and he'll defend you forever. And this one features my favorite character in Red Rising Saga uh, at the end paper. Ta-da! Severo. So gorgeous, beautiful artwork really. And yeah, this is Severo again. And at the back end paper, we have Victra. Victra, Aujuli, and Severo, Aubarka. 
So yeah, beautiful editions and all of this are signed by Pierce Brown. And I want to say thank you so much to Sophie for sending me a copy of Red Rising Trilogy uh, Iron Edition published by Fairy Loot. I still have two more special edition or two more books to showcase in today's book haul video. And the next one is of course from The Broken Binding. And it is for their subscription for the month of January until the month of March. But this is for the month of January. And this is for The Northern Rat by Tilde called Holt. I am sorry if I mispronounced the name. I am trying my best. But yeah, this is uh, such a beautiful cover art, beautiful edition with the cover art done by Randy Vargas. I really love Randy Vargas artwork for many years now. And this is a wraparound cover art yeah, by him. And at the back, we have a quote, which I assume is from the book, honor the dead, remember their names, see their faces and speak of their ways. And I think this is a Norse mythology, a Norse mythology inspired fantasy novel. And yeah, we have this beautiful front end paper by Rene Eichner, and this is the naked hardcover by Katrina Paints. Again, uh, this is designed to connect with the second and the third book as well. I think I think this is a wolf swimming, and I think that is so cute. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this is a beautiful edition. I think uh, this is the Broken Binding best edition for their subscription uh, so far. And at the back, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous end paper by Rene Eichner again. Really love this one and I haven't read this series yet. And if you take a look at the naked hardcover here, I think you can see here, this is Odin's Ravens and then this is Hati and Skull and this is the World Serpent Jormungan. And yeah, I think that is super cool. I look forward to reading this uh, for the first time uh, someday, probably after I got uh, the second and the third book as well from The Broken Binding in uh, February and also in March. And finally, the last book that I got last month and I think many of you will know what this is already. I even made a dedicated video to this one. And it is Coraline by Neil Gaiman, Lara book, uh, the Red Thread edition. It is easily one of the most beautiful books that I own right now. And yeah, this is the slipcase and this is the book. And yeah, it contains, I think, tons of interior illustrations by Rovina Kai. And it is uh, printed in letterpress printing. It contains Mitsun binding and also I cannot emphasize just how beautiful this edition is. It is uh, gorgeous and it is signed by Rovina Kai and also I'm going to show just a few of the interior artworks here and as I said in my February TBR video I have never read a Coraline yet even though I really love the movie adaptation and yeah this is just an example of some of the artworks inside this is the black illustrations and at the back here we have this fully colored interior illustrations. And yeah, as I said, there are many of them. I look forward to reading this for the first time uh, this month. I think I will just start reading this after I record uh, this video. And yeah, I don't know whether I will make a detailed flip through of this edition or not after that. I guess I'll find out or maybe I will do that in a book review of Coraline when I'm done with it. And again, I just want to say thank you so much to Kratos for sending me a copy of Coraline, the Red Thread edition. And yeah, it is gorgeous. It is definitely up there. I think in my top three spot for the best and most beautiful book that I own uh, right now. So that's it. That's the 11 novels that I got last month and also the 16 volumes of manga the 16 volumes of Boku no Hero Academia that I got. Although the quantity is not as insane as usual, I am truly happy and thankful with my January uh, book haul. I mean, we have this many beautiful special editions coming to me in a month. And yeah, I look forward to reading them for the ones that I haven't read anyway. I look forward to reading them using this beautiful special editions for the first time as soon as possible. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me today. That's all the books that I got last month. Do tell me uh, which one do you think looks the most beautiful here and how many books did you got last month? Which one was your favorite uh, book haul? As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye bye. Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me.